What's going on guys? It's King Tuts Pro back with another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. Guys, I am so glad to be back. I know it's been a couple of days since I haven't been posting videos and um, if you guys don't follow me on Snapchat already, which you guys should, I'll have my Snapchat right now shown on the screen. I want to show you guys how to make this cool intro as you've seen in the beginning of this video. If you guys don't already follow these you know, beauty guru channels, I've noticed that they use some really, really cool and unique, I'm going to mute the audio for now, some really cool and unique like transitions and that looks really cool you also have like this animated thing there's another video for that if you guys want to watch that but i'm not going to show you guys how to do that i'm just going to show you guys how to do that intro with the swish uh, looks okay so i'm gonna push play so this is james charles this is his animated intro so the only thing that is actually animated besides you know everything else is just himself it's just drawn and then everything else is just layered on top. It's just elements added together. So all you gotta do guys is just go to Space Maker's um, YouTube channel. He has two different videos, okay? And so he has a whole bunch of elements that you guys can go ahead and use for your intro. You know, if you're gonna use this in Adobe Premiere Pro, you guys can go ahead and use that in Premiere or you can use it in Final Cut Pro 10. As long as you guys use the keyer um, or like a mask kind of a thing, and they have a whole bunch so he also has this other one here and it looks really cool so he has a whole bunch as you can see I'm gonna show you guys how to do that so I'm gonna jump into Final Cut Pro 10 and I already have this set up okay and I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger like that so we have everything layered as you can see I already saved this um, but you can see how it works right so assuming you have whether you have a logo a picture a text whatever you guys are gonna be using Go ahead and drag it in here. I would suggest you guys keep an intro less than five seconds. This is just the text that I put in together and I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. So I'm gonna delete this, okay? And we have just a black custom uh, generator. So if we go to the generators tab here, I'm not gonna delete it because it's gonna delete everything or the audio as well. So go to the generators, okay? And inside the generators, you're gonna have backgrounds, elements, solids, and textures. So go into the solids and drag the custom solid and drag that into the timeline and I just shrunk it to about four seconds so uh, once you have that set ready to go you have nothing here so once you're good with that you're gonna create a text so go to the titles again and choose the custom title which is this one and drag it on top okay and then I'm gonna cut this to the end and with the blade tool and delete that then go ahead and click on this or double click on there or go to the inspector window and in the inspector window where it says title just go ahead and change it I'm gonna name this King Tuts Pro in all caps and I'm gonna change the font to I think the font was called Futura sweet so that looks good I'm also gonna position this if you click and drag it should snap into the middle or the center of the canvas and you can change the background color if you want just go to the custom Go to color and click on this and drag the slider to the left to bring up the color wheel. And then here you can change the color if you want. You can make it like really, if you it, so out here is very bright, you know, very vibrant colors. You don't want to ever choose that unless you're really, really sure you want to do that. I would go inside between white and full vibrant color. So in between here is, you know, the gold, the golden area. Okay. So. You know, so if you want to do something like, I don't know, peachy, something like that. But I'm going to go black because I like black and white. It just looks cool. Or you can do white on black, however you guys want to do it. So, but if you do that, you're going to have to change the smoke or the overlay um, animation. So I'm just going to leave it how it is. I'm going to go back to the text, okay? And I'm going to go to my YouTube thing here. And I'm going to drag this here because it's a PNG image. You want to work with high resolution images if you're going to be using that in this uh, intro. So I'm going to use the transform option if you want to scale this down. And I'm going to click on it again to bring it up. And I'm going to scale this down. Don't hold shift. Just shrink it down. And I'm going to move this to the left. Something like that. Click done. As you can tell, it does, it's not centered properly because we added more to the left. So we're going to have to move everything to the right. So what I would like to do first is, you know, make your adjustments first. Okay. I don't know. Is that, yeah, that's straight. Click done. I think that looks okay. I mean, it's just a tutorial. So I'm going to hold shift and click on this or just highlight them both. 
right click and go to new compound clip just click enter so now they those two elements will be grouped together so once you're you know once you've done that now you can go ahead and go to the transform option and just drag this to the left here and instead of guessing you know up and down just go ahead and uh, undo that let me see undo that there we go so click and drag this and just drag it to where you think it'd be centered so something like that looks centered to me and it didn't move at all on the y-axis so up and down so that looks pretty good so once we're done with this we want to go ahead and add the actual animation so once you've downloaded the video from YouTube um, you're gonna have these cool green screen effects okay so you can use either this one or the other one that I used and just drag that on top of your timeline so once you drag it into your timeline go ahead and just zoom out of that so what I would first do is just find one that you like okay I'm gonna do this one just for the sake of the tutorial and do it right before the animation starts so right there so there's nothing at all on the screen and I'm gonna delete this so we have that and then it go and then it plays the animation and then it goes away back to to all green okay so that's where you want to cut it drag that to let's say the beginning and then choose another one so in this case I'm gonna do uh, let's work with well let's just work with the next one so we'll do something like that and then it goes away I don't know like that and I'm gonna delete the rest so I'm gonna move this here I'm gonna delete the rest and go shift Z to fit everything into the timeline we have this so how do we get rid of the green screen it's easy just go to the effects in the effects go to all video and audio and just type in here drag the keyer on both of the videos so I already did that sweet so now you should have something like this looks really really cool right but we have a problem when we push play on the beginning it actually does the opposite so what do we do to fix it just play the video in reverse so select the video go to this little time or this timer option here go to reverse clip now if you push play it's going to reverse it and you can see that right there now you can also slow this video down if you want or you can you know make it faster you can adjust the timing if you want so with this one we wanted to do the opposite so this one would look just you know just as fine like that and then that's honestly all you have to do um if you want that kind of glitchy effect i would suggest you guys check out ryan angles um uh his video where he shows you guys how to download um, a glitch a tv glitch effect which i did already and once you install it in final cut it's going to be called it's called tv glitch transitions what i did is i just went into here and here so there's a, a beginning and an end and I just drag this to add this there and I'm gonna make this smaller it's gonna glitch and then you can have it glitch away you can just get rid of it I get rid of it so it only starts in the beginning so now if I go ahead and render this out so now if I go ahead and push play this is what it's gonna look like looks pretty cool right so the only thing we need to do now is select this okay right click and make another compound clip I know there's a lot of compound clips but guys trust me this is like a heaven sent okay because trust me when it comes to keyframing this is what you want to do so we want to go ahead and just start zooming in into the text so, so find a place in the intro and go to the transform option go to the scale and add a keyframe and go to around well pretty much the end of that clip and just make it big so something like that right so it's going to animate like this so if I push play it's gonna zoom up just like that and then it goes away sweet and then the next thing you need to do is just add your music this is royalty free if you guys are wondering if you guys are wondering what it's called it's called Jeff Kale pillow talk so if I go back and I push play this is what it's gonna look like once you guys are finished with the video <laughs> Guys, if you found this video helpful in any way, be sure to leave a like, guys. That would help me so much. Your guys' support has been the best, and I'll catch you guys on my next video. Peace.